At present, St. Lucia is experiencing the fourth COVID-19 wave, which the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs continues to manage. From July 25, 2021, we noted 3,621 cases and an average of 86 cases per day. During this period, we also noted 24 COVID-19 deaths at a case fatality rate of 0.7% with an average age of 66 years. The daily infection rate for the past week was 82.0 per 100,000 per day and an average of 148.7 cases per day. In relation to this new wave from July 25th, 2021, 3,621 persons were positive, 52% in the age group 25 to 49 years, 58% of the cases are female. The majority of the cases are from Castries, Grosile, Babano, and Denry districts. Based on contact tracing data, the majority of the cases diagnosed are related to social activities. At this stage of the outbreak, we also note increasing cases at workplaces and spread between families. We have not yet peaked and we continue to note increases from the past week and increases in deaths. To date from the positive cases diagnosed in country, less than 2% have been fully vaccinated. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs continues to work to strengthen the public health system to continue managing the increased COVID-19 cases. Later today, an intense review of the response to this COVID-19 wave is scheduled to further improve on the management of this situation. This will serve to ensure sustainable measures are in place and improve gaps that have been reported. We continue to ask the public to work with us and exhibit responsible behavior to manage this fourth wave. The enforcement agency continues to report numerous breaches of social activities, even during the periods of full lockdown. Let us all take personal responsibility to keep ourselves and our families safe. At present, we continue to have available the Pfizer and the AstraZeneca vaccine free of charge in country at the various wellness centers. Vaccination remains the most effective public health measure in managing infectious diseases. These vaccines have been proven to be safe and effective in protecting persons from developing COVID-19, its severe forms, complications, hospitalizations, and death. We continue to urge the public to access the various sites to get immunized at the soonest. Encourage your family and friends to get immunized so we can all be protected. With the high level of community spread noted in country at this point, we continue to advise the public to remain vigilant. Adhere to the protocols that are put in place to keep us safe. These include regular hand washing, the use of face masks in public places, avoiding crowds and persons with respiratory symptoms, and keeping frequently touched surfaces clean. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs will continue providing updates to the public as new information becomes available.